Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So, a lot of you have been asking me a very genuine and a very accurate question about how to show your skills in BIM into your portfolio. Okay, and this is a question that I was also dealing with, and it was a very difficult thing for me to show my skills in BIM into my portfolio because. BIM is basically a lot of management based thing. It is a lot of software tuning skills. It is a lot of uh, connecting of your central model, managing central model, managing the data in that model. So it is always a big question that how can I show this? How can I show this in a portfolio? Because it's not design. It's not like simple plane like okay fine this is the structure you show elevation 3d sections isometric se isometric sections and elevations it doesn't work like that so this video will be a very very helpful video for all of you i took a good amount of time to write this entire video down so that like i can mention each and everything that you can put into your bim portfolio and also i'll show you one or two pages of my portfolio in which i am mentioning what i did in my bim project okay so try watching this video till the end and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel I can make these videos just because of your support. So without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. Okay guys, so let's first start with the job requirements for BIM, okay? So first is basically you need to understand and you should be very efficient in Revit, in using Revit. Then you should understand how cloud computing or cloud collaboration works. So for example, how you can link models to or how you can synchronize model to ACC, how you can make a project on ACC and put or move all your project on ACC. You need to show that. Second or third is basically how you can um, manage the project, how well you can organize the project browser, how well you can organize the work sets. Okay and then after that it's like understanding of families okay what is a shared family what is a shared parameter what is a nested family how you can manage the shared parameters or company wide shared parameters are there how can you manage that so these are few of the requirements that are usually there in a bim role okay and you should of course if you understand revit efficiently and if you know all aspects of Revit all the other criteria that fall into Revit will be fulfilled automatically that's why I'm not going into the uh, small aspects like knowing how to make schedules knowing how to use keynotes knowing how to manage keynotes knowing how to manage the sheets how knowing how to manage the view templates all of these things fall under the umbrella of Revit entirely okay so that's why I'm not mentioning all of these because I can keep talking about it till morning and it won't get over so um, these are the some basic criteria that usually usually companies ask okay now let's uh, see my portfolio what i have shown in my portfolio okay so it is not up to date it is not the best don't criticize it because i was working two jobs at that time and i had only limited time so i made this okay so this is a project that we did in my college over here at algonquin so now the question was like how i can show it okay so the, i showed the entire model of uh, what we did i showed what are the aspects that we demolished i showed over there like okay this is the revit model that we made or i made and these are the components that i have made this is the thing that i have designed and we had to model an existing building a historical building that is over here we modeled so this building is historical so we modeled this at one is to one like exactly how the building is we were provided by provided the plans by uh, national capital commission that is basically a government organization working here in canada so they provided us all the plans and data for these things and we modeled it as is so we modeled the entire site we modeled the entire structure that you can see over here so all of these things 
proved that okay this guy knows modeling okay then at the end of this uh, project i showed them that what all were the other things that we did so i showed them that okay we had all the work sets managed properly color graded and also i showed them that we also learned about dynamo scripts and we used dynamo scripts to get uh, the clashes and get the extra elements that are there in the model to clean the model up so we went into th that level of depth in that project and that is what i was trying to show over there so these are the things that you can show okay uh, other things that now i realize that i could have shown but probably when i update my portfolio this portfolio i will show is basically how i organized uh, my entire project on acc i will really really what i'll do is basically i'll take a screenshot of the project basically a 3d uh, render or something of the project i will put that uh, um, image on the page describe what was the project then on the next page i will show literally i will show the screenshot of my acc where i am doing the clash detection where everything is uh, arranged properly in a proper set in a proper manner and how we were managing the data coming from the consultants which you can again do a screenshot take a screenshot and um, show that okay they were sharing the model i uh, append the model or i uh, received the model and then we did the clash detection and this is how i was doing it then you can show the project browser where you can show that okay this is how i was arranging all the project related sheets and this is how we were coding them next thing that you can show is basically uh, your understanding of revit families where you can show that okay you have created a family any family you can create a very complex family and do one thing so you can take a screenshot of that family and take screenshot of the parameters that you have made in that family you can showcase your skills in uh, shared parameters you can showcase that okay these are the shared parameters our company was using and this is how it was managed you can take all these screenshots and attach to that project so that will show that okay this guy knows how to manage the project browser this guy knows how to manage the acc platform where your models are uh, being synchronized and your consultants are syncing their models to uh, your model so all of these things are happening on acc you can show that okay on acc you can issue markups you can even do clash detection you can show those screenshots as well so these are the things that you need to show in a bim portfolio um other than that i would say that uh, always take permissions from your company if you are working for for some federal government projects or any government projects don't just take screenshots and use it in your portfolio ask them ask them that uh, i hope this is okay i i just want to take screenshot of how we were managing so that i can add it in my portfolio something like that okay just as basic permission like it is very important because some of the projects are very crucial don't post or don't take project data without asking the company okay that can cause issues in your career later on so guys these are the uh, overall aspects that you can show into a bim portfolio but other than that i don't think so there are a lot of things lot of visual things like models or something that you can show but what i would suggest take some screenshots or take some renders of the projects that you have done and uh, like you know show the project okay show the project give a description then show a floor plan give a description and then give screenshots of things that how you were managing those models you can show that okay these were these were the number of links we had these were the number of consultant links we had and you were managing all of these things through a visual way but also you will have to write and explain what is what so for example if you take a screenshot of a project browser you will have to write that okay we were managing project browser in this way uh, it was decided in the 
BIM execution plan that we will name the sheets in this way and all of the consultant are following the same methodology and that's how you are generating the entire data in a very organized way. So all of these words, words are very important guys. If you use the correct words, correct terminology, correct things, how a project goes ahead, these will make a good case for you. And even if you show whatever I have said right now, only those things if you show, still, still a person who is a BIM manager who is into BIM industry for a long time, he will or she will, will definitely understand that, okay, this guy has knowledge. This guy is not bullshitting. This guy is not just saying that he has done this course or he has done these experience and stuff. stuff. But he's actually showing, he's trying to show that, okay, he knows how work sets work. He knows how phasing work. He knows how view templates work. He knows how shared parameter work. How, he knows how shared families work. So all of these things will make your case really strong. And especially when you will show that you can do clash detection on ACC, you can manage models on ACC, you know that thing. ACC is Autodesk Construction Cloud, just in case if someone doesn't know. But if you can show all of these things, I'm 100% sure, 100% sure if that manager is genuine and if they actually want someone with your caliber or probably uh, like your experience, they will definitely understand that this guy knows and they will definitely if not hire you but definitely you can get a call for interview so these were my inputs guys if you have any kinds of doubts or queries or if you have some projects or manage something you can definitely let me know that uh, you would need some guidance or something like that i will be very happy to help you because i know where you are coming from because i was exactly there where you are right now that's why you are watching this video so i know i know guys i know it is tough our industry is tough our skill sets are tough that's why we can't show them it's not like a coder can't just flex their codes on sheets right someone has to see their application without seeing their application you just can't see that oh he knows this it won't work like that so it is similar for us not exactly the same so yeah this was it for today's video i hope you liked it i hope i wasn't too fast i was trying to keep this video short that's why i was probably blabbering a bit but um, this was my entire video and if you like this video please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you soon take care of yourself Bye bye